Hello guys, now this is the second video speaking about how to bet on a stock. Today we try to see swing trading and this is uh, what I do for a living and this is what I teach as a coach for new uh, traders. Now, you want to buy a stock for the short term, this is what we call um, swing trading. Short term, it means few days, few weeks, or few months, one, two, or three, depending on the stock trend. As a swing trader, what does it mean, swing trader? A swing trader is a trader who follows trends. A trend, it means that the stock is increasing in price for a certain time in the history it means in in time when you go to the chart you will see that there are a lot of trends in some stocks now we, we are looking for this kind of stocks we are not following some stocks that go uh, two days up three days down uh, four four days up th so this zigzag thing we are not interested in it so how do you bet on uh, on these swing trading stocks how okay for us as swing traders, and according to my strategies, I follow some criteria, which is an entry point based on the price. It's not based on the company or on the market, or it, it's not based on that. It's based only on the price, on the chart. Okay? That's why I have uh, training level two, how to search for stocks using stock screener. It shows you with two criteria, uh, all these kind of stocks that are a possible or a potential trend making it means that some of them will trend not all of them but some of them because understand that not all the stocks uh, will go up making trends some they just do zigzag some they go down but some or few of them will make a good uh, uh, trends now when you have this entry and you try to practice it for a long time you will be able to search for the best stocks and then you can according to the chart you can select the best of them okay and this is uh, what we are uh, teaching here in this channel which is uh, make money trading stocks um, and all our work is just to find winners that's it you don't need 100 stock you need only few each month or two if you succeed in one you don't need uh, more stocks that's why for me my portfolio always I have a few stocks if one I either exit with a small loss like I always use stop loss or I exit with a profit what should I do both in both cases what should I do I just replace this stock that's it and the other ones that are still trending up I just leave them okay it's so it is so simple strategy based on the mechanic of the stock market how it works so we are working by probabilities these probabilities uh, is we let the good ones continue making uh, making money for us and we delete or we cut off all the trades that are not giving us money but they begin to take our money and this is why stop loss is one of the best thing you can do in your in your uh, trades is that uh, we don't follow stocks that go down and we are chasing them we don't chase stocks when we need stocks we go at three o'clock nearly at three o'clock and at, at the end of the market we do our search we find stocks we put them in the chart and then we look what is the best according to some criteria of selection you find in training level four how to select stocks okay just just some simple things that you can do and when whenever you see the chart you you will see uh, some of the best uh, potential stocks to go up okay 
if they continue trading you don't need that much that's why swing trading you save money from uh, commissions it means you don't do a lot of a lot of uh, um, a lot of trades like uh, like in day trading you don't need to okay why should I go each day uh, spending time looking for the stocks and doing day trading while I can just buy one or two stocks and if they go up I will wait okay I will wait I do nothing what you should do the market will do whatever you want if the market is against you from the beginning you should take a decision to exit okay because we are in a risky market stock market is risky if you don't do something when your money is gone okay you will have always trouble that's why most of the people they lose because okay they buy stock today one day or two the stock is going down they don't exit they don't put stop loss they don't know what is their risk what will happen later they say oh let the stock come back okay and if the stock you if your stock doesn't come back for example instead of losing 1% or 2% or 3% or 5% you will be losing 10% 15% 20% and this you will see it in the chart that's why all the numbers are there for you if you go to your account and you find it in red it means that you have lost a lot of money and you don't want to stop this loss okay you want to continue what you are doing and you will be against the market the market is neutral the market is just uh, hundreds or thousands of people they are buying and selling this is the market their actions is the, is the price that you see for each stock it, this is their actions if the stock is going up what does it mean it means there are a lot of buyers it's so simple if the stock is going down it means there are a lot of people selling and if you you stay more and more and more they will take your money because some other people are shorting the stock and you will never know what will happen so how do you bet on stocks in swing trading is we be we bet on them with technical what we call technical analysis but for me it's so simple it's not what we call talk, technical analysis using indicators uh, using uh, moving averages I don't do that because when you see my strategies you will see how stupid are these indicators because indicators were they well, what are they they are just small strategies made by traders before and published in books because all these strategies all these indicators they don't work so they publish them okay now for my strategies they are simple lines you can see them on the chart now it's visual you don't need an indicator to tell you that you are losing money okay you don't need it just just you look you look at the purchase price uh, I always put a green line where I purchase uh, uh, my stock um, uh, some of you guys who have not seen my chart you can take my uh, free training you can go to my, my website here on the top of the description just go and just take the free training about the chart and candlesticks and you understand how I put this colorful lines uh, one which is green for uh, purchase price let's say I, I just give you an example let's say a stock I want to buy the stock and it is $20 so I put when I buy the stock at $20 I put a line on that price let's say I put stop loss uh, it's just an example okay don't don't take my word for it uh, let's say I put $19 as a stop loss so I put a red candle a red line which is um, which is the stop loss now I leave the chart for one day or two or three and see what will happen if the stock is going up above my purchase price and it's continuing going for one week or two or three or five or six or two months or three because no one knows where the where the stock there is no in my strategies there is no what we call prediction 
Oh, uh, when this stock will stop? I don't know. No one knows. And I'm telling you, the market is full of, of surprises. And you are telling me uh, um, uh, there is an indicator that shows where the stock will stop and where the stock... Uh, uh, no, there is no thing such, such thing as, as someone who tells you what the traders will do in the future. There is no thing. But if the traders stop going up and go down, I see it because you see it on, on the price. It's the high. In that, in that moment, it's the high, and then the stock will go down. You see it, and everybody see it. So this is not something that you need an indicator to show you that the stock has, st has stopped. I have made videos about uh, um, energy sector, and I, will sh I showed you the first day, that day where the stock market in that sector has stopped, and then the stocks will go down. It's, it's there because, it, because all our actions, buying and selling, you find it in the price on the chart. Okay? So you don't need indicator. You don't need an indicator to show you where to buy. This is just something that uh, it's not workable and feasible. You can do better with just betting like this. You, you will, do, will do better than this uh, indicator. Okay? Because indicator is just uh, calculations of, of uh, closing dates, price, and uh, they make conclusions. But you will never know um, what the traders will do tomorrow. That's why. In my strategies, when you buy a stock, we think that the stock will go up. Because that's why we buy it. That's why we use this signal thing. Now, what if the stock doesn't do what we want? And it is against us. We exit. There is no other, other, other possible way to stay in the market when the market will begin to take your money. There is no way. And you say, uh, oh, is there, a, is there a sure thing, a guarantee thing that when I buy, I make money? There is no. Don't search. If you search all your life, if you live, for example, 100 years, and you begin at 18, when you begin to understand, to open an account, 18 years, and you are now 100 years, okay? You spend all these years searching for a sure thing, you will never find it. Even if, uh, if God gives you another 100 years, you will never find it. So it's, this, is, um, this is the thing about the market. But if you buy a stock, few days it goes up. You are right. And you begin to make money. You don't need no one to tell you, uh, to tell you uh, that you are wrong. You are right. Even now. You have never traded before. You just pick up a uh, stock. You buy it, and a few days it goes up. You are right with the market. But if you don't have a strategy, a clear strategy, what you are doing and why you are, why you bet on this stock on that precise price and momentum, you will never make it as a trader. Because if you begin doing just lucky, lucky thing, or just you buy and you hope, uh, you, you will never make it like this because trading is a business it means you should see the expenses you should see you should have a clear strategy what you are doing okay no one is doing business and he doesn't know what to do and in order to make money this is becomes foolish okay and some people they think that uh, that uh, people they should succeed uh, without studying without uh, without uh, putting some work on what they do, which is false. Okay, no business is doing this uh, just by luck. They became famous. No, they they should have done some work in order to become famous. Okay, so this is in general how to bet on stocks in swing trading. Swing trading is better uh, for all the people who have jobs. It, it's easier. Okay, 
you don't have uh, to look at your chart for one hour or two or three each day in order to do day trading. Now, if you have time and you like day trading, yes, it's okay, you can do it. And if you succeed, it's, it's something good. You, uh, why not? But for, for the majority of people, they have jobs. And they can't just follow stocks and watch the screen for a long time. Okay? So it's, it's, it's a good, uh, swing trading is good uh, for everyone. This is all for uh, swing trading. If you are interested, you can just um, check my training uh, levels by uh, price. And you can, um, if you have questions, as usual, I'm here to help. You just ask me questions and we can go from there and uh, there is a, a free chart um, on how to use the chart that I'm using on YouTube it's a free chart you download it and there is a free training you can just uh, check uh, uh, check uh, how this chart works with candlesticks with trends with um, with a, a lot of a lot of things like uh, industries you, you you will be you will be seeing or watching how the stocks belong to this uh, industry, to this sector, and uh, and this it has some uh, connotations, some information on uh, trading. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.